Well, with this irregular piece of paper, in one cut, either you can cut a equilateral triangle or a hexagon or a three-pointed star. And that's why it's one cut and get three models. And we'll make three regular polygons, hexagon, triangle and a star with just one cut. In this first part of the series, cut one, get three. First fold the paper in half lengthwise. Get approximate middle point and fold one side over the other so that you divide in three equal parts. You can see this triangle now. Since we divided the 180 degree straight angle in three equal parts, the bottom angle will be 60 degrees. And so now when we cut along this side of the triangle, what would we get? Not a triangle, but a hexagon. See, when we fold a paper and cut perpendicular to the fold, we get a straight line on opening. But if we cut it at an angle, we will cut as many lines as the number of folds. And in this case, we fold three times and then twice because we fold it initially in half. Hence, we get a hexagon. Now we will cut perpendicular to the fold. And magically, we will get an equilateral triangle. This is because if we cut perpendicular to the fold, on opening we get a straight line. This is absolute magic. Now we fold again and this time instead of cutting perpendicular, we again cut at an angle, an obtuse angle. Again we will get not straight lines but two different lines at an angle on the fold. And if we open, we get a three-pointed star. Now let's explore the symmetry and reflections of our cuts on the hexagon. We fold like in the beginning and make different types of cuts along the side and even in the middle and then make a wonderful design. And you can understand how each cut that we make on the side or on the fold gets reflected because of the symmetry of the cuts that we are making. And you can use all this to make wonderful patterns. So enjoy. I hope you enjoyed making the hexagon. And now it's time to think. So to make an equilateral triangle, if instead we cut along the cut side itself, we will not get an equilateral triangle, but six different shapes of this type. Can you join these, three of these or six of these to make an equilateral triangle? Send us your answers. Thank you.